What up, people, ladies and gentlemen? It's your host with the most, Cali, Texas ENT. And I'm making a video, you know, giving God praises first. And I'm making a video about the Sega Dreamcast. And I want to tell y'all why I'm making this video. Because, simple fact, let me show you why I'm making this video. Let me show you my, my reason for making this. Because, um, you know what I'm saying, I've been a fan of, of, of Sega for a long time. And then when Sega said that they was... uh denouncing themselves from the industry as far as like you know denouncing themselves from from making game systems i said dang they're just gonna stick to strictly making games i said well come on now that's kind of messed up okay but i'm gonna make this short and sweet try to make it short and sweet but here's the thing here's what i say sega should do instead of sega thinking about making a mini of the dreamcast or the sega saturn why not make this same system, the exact same way. Look, the exact same way, right? See how it is, the CD and everything? Make it to where it's legal and legit. Like, make it, you know, it's legal and legit now, but I'm saying make it to where it's backwards compatible with the with all regions. Instead of the front right here, let the front be USB ports. You know, like for, like, you know, controllers, uh, you can... Uh, uh, have a, a hard drive where, where it's compatible with a hard drive. You know what I'm saying? You can you can add a hard drive to it. To, you know something like people because you know and you know the hackers been doing their thing, so they should make it where beat the hackers to the punch. All the games that came out for it that were hack games, license them so they can play on there. Make it backwards compatible with uh with all the uh games like um. Like, you know, burnt copies, if you have any burnt copies, they automatically play on there, you know, because already, it's already out, right? Get all the games that are that, that came out that were, uh, that were copies that, uh, that, that, you know what I'm saying, people, you know, home brewers and whatnot made and, and make them legit, right? Now, leave the system the same. Now, on the side here, let me show you the side because I took the piece off. Bring back online service on it. You know what I'm saying? Make it online service. Oh, and this part right here, make it DivX, VCD, MPEG 1 and 2, MP4, AVI. Pretty much all formatted movies. Make them compatible to play on here. Without you having to have no specific type of... Oh, and pictures too. And music. So you don't have to have no specific typo. Now here, this expansion port, expansion port can be another system on the bottom. Make the Dreamcast the same way, but the expansion port gonna have a little, you put a piece that sticks out like this, clink, and it goes on the bottom of here. And when it goes on the bottom of here, what it does is it allow you to play Sega Saturn, Sega CD, and also allow you to play ROMs too as well. So say like you got a disc full of ROMs, like Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, because I already know it's already out there. It's like, it's already out there. So say if I got a disc full of ROMs, they load up and play. You feel me? Because it's going to already have the, what you call it, the file based system in there. And then add an extra part on the side where like, like how the Saturn was with that, with that RAM cartridge part that allow you to play Genesis 32X, Sega Master System, basically an all in one system, but not really. And then you can play burnt copies of Saturn games, burnt copy of a uh, Sega CD games, um, 32X CD, and, and it unlocks all regions. Now, if you do a system like that, Sega, you bring out that system and make a USB port where the controllers have built-in rumble support. Six button controllers. Actually, six. Like, ten button support. Because, you know, you know, ten button support meaning like one, two, then three, four, five, six. And then you got you seven, eight, and then nine, ten. And then it have, it have automatic rumble support in it. And the system come with built-in memory where you don't need a memory card. <clears throat> I mean, you still get the memory cards, but you don't really need it. But you still need the memory cards. 
but it'll have memory on the inside like the Xbox, uh, regular Xbox did. If you do that, just on that idea alone, and if anybody watching this video, send it to Sega, because Sega needs to really hear this. Because you send it to Sega and, and tell them about the idea, and hit the like and subscribe, and tell them, hey man, we really like this idea, what, what this guy's talking about. It would sell like hotcakes. I'm talking about it would sell like hotcakes. Everything I just said, if you didn't catch what I said, rewind it and, and you know, but when they make the little component part right here, this is an expansion port. So I don't know why they why they made this when they didn't want to add nothing to it. It kind of was dumb and defeated the purpose of making it. You should just left the system like it was, minus this, because you know. It was dumb. And then this piece right here, since they already have this connected to it, you can take this piece and it, and it can become something else. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you can, man, I'm just saying, the way they, they can make this, if they heed to what I'm saying, how I said make the system, leave it the same. Or, you know, give it a sleek design, change the, change the design of the system, give it a different color. But it's still Sega Dreamcast. And people are going to be like, well, I don't want to buy this. But then they're going to want to buy because they're going to want to find out what it can do. And then you just come with a big presentation and present it to people and say, hey, look, this is what it can do. Boom, boom. People going to buy it just because of nostalgic. Oh, it plays Saturn. It plays Sega CD. It plays. Oh, and it plays the burnt copies, too. Oh, I'm getting one. They're going to they don't care. Whatever the price is, they're going to get it. And Sega can be back in the game with this alone by itself and then turn around. Like how they had all them them them, them fake uh, Sega Dreamcast all over the internet when they was making videos and that one with the uh, black Sega Dreamcast and it had the Game Gear system. That was the best one. Take all them ideas and put them in consideration, but don't do it. Don't do us like that, Sega, and just leave us high and dry. And all your games you brought out for other systems, bring it out for this system. So that little expansion pack, port pack on the bottom is going to be DVD, Blu-ray, HD, you know what I'm saying, 4K. 